Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at a digital voice recorder built into this pen right here. We're going to be talking about the pros and cons of this, let you know what it's good for, what your expectations should be, and a whole lot more. First things first though, a few disclaimers. This was a review unit, keep that in mind. They do not get to see this review though until it goes live on Amazon. They're watching it just like you are right here. Also, pricing changes so rapidly on this kind of stuff. I hate to give you a price and have it be wrong. I'll put a link to it in the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment. Check it out down there on Amazon. Lastly, before we get into the full review, if you want to help us out, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here so YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow this channel. We would really appreciate it, and it helps me support my family just by hitting subscribe, by hitting that thumbs up. It's a huge help. So with that said, let's start off with our review just by taking a look at the pen itself. Now, I'll talk about everything that comes with this in a minute, but it's a pretty standard size pen. Really nothing out of the ordinary. You see a very um, comfortable to hold, comfortable to use. Looks like a standard kind of business pen that many people may be walking around with. Now, a few things here off the bat. This does unscrew here. And in here is where you find a USB charger and a 64 gigabit micro SD card built into it right here with that. So you can charge here. You can also plug that into your computer and pull the files directly off of it um, from the SD card here without needing the card reader, but it does come with a card reader also. And then on this side is the actual pen. And it even comes with refills for this to allow you to actually use it. They're pretty standard size refills. You can go on Amazon or so many places and buy those refills. Lastly, a little note here. So as the camera decides to focus, there we go. Up here on the top is the power button. You just press this, hold this to stop and start recording. So you can easily manage that. Beyond that, really not a whole lot to say about it. Pretty straightforward pin here. You can tie, um, adjust this here to bring the pin in and out for when you don't want to use it. So let's take a look at everything comes with it. A few things, it does have the ability to play your files directly from the pen without the need of a computer with a built-in micro USB uh, adapter and headphones that are even included. So nice deal there. Just come with a micro USB cable to charge it or pull the data off of it. And there is a tiny screwdriver that's used to replace the built-in uh, ink cartridges and it does come with replacement ink cartridges. So overall, for the money, you're getting a lot here. Again, 64 gigabyte bit micro SD card, the reader for it, charging cables, replacement pen filters, or uh, ink cartridges, I should say, and more. Now, a few things. Let's talk about the actual use of this device. Now, it does record up to 15 hours. Now, with 64 gigabytes of built-in storage, it's not the storage going to be an issue. It's going to be battery power here for recording. Now, uh, 15 hours recording will not be 64 gigabytes of data there. So keep that in mind. Um, also here with this, the microphone is good. I'll show you that in one moment, but I wouldn't say it's great. A standard office, standard size conference room for like 10 people, probably the range you're gonna get with this microphone if you're recording. Do be very aware that many states have legal laws regarding recording. Some states require everybody that's being recorded to be aware that they're being recorded. Keep that in mind, don't get in legal trouble. I'm not a lawyer, it's all a lawyer and how you use this if you're wor worried about the legalities of that. But let's real quick listen to the actual audio here with it. This should give you a good idea of what the microphone sounds like. Of course, it's not the best quality in the world, but it's a good quality. Well, there you go. There is a good sample size of the audio. See, not the greatest quality, it's mono. It's a standard microphone. Definitely not as good as many new cell phones, for example, with it, but it's adequate. An adequate uh, volume, an adequate uh, recordability and range. I'm actually kind of impressed. It's a nice pen. It actually writes really well too. It's a nice quality pen. The microphone is well placed, the easy use of this, the ability to charge it, get 15 hours. And in my testing, um, that's the upper limit, but it's not an unreasonable expectation to get that. Of course, standby time drains the actual active recording time for that. But it does what it says it's going to do and does it well, and it comes at a good price point. So do I recommend this? Yes, I would say if this is something you're looking for, to have a um, little hidden microphone like this, two thumbs up. A few things I always look at when I consider a product like this, does it do what it says it's gonna do? Yes. Delivers the 15 hour uh, recording, the internal storage from that included SD memory card is sufficient, micro SD, to record for 15 hours. 
It actually works as a nice pen. The build quality is good. I've had no issues with it in our testing. So overall, two thumbs up. I will put a link to it in the show notes down below and in the first pin comment if you want to find it on Amazon. You can find it there. And as always, if you want to help us grow the show, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here so YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping me grow this channel, helping me support my family. I would really appreciate it. So until next time, we'll be back tomorrow with another video. Take care, everybody.